In this tutorial, we will create Sci-Fi Sphere animation using Octane Render. First, let's switch on Path Tracing method. For the best result, our sphere should be 100 cm radius with 100 segments. Octahedron type should work well. Let's create Octane Camera and Glossy Material for our sphere. Drop it onto the sphere object and make it 100% black. Increase roughness just a little bit. For the displacement node, we will use Sci-Fi Texture which will cover the sphere object. I used JS Placement software for generating it. You can find this program in the internet, typing JS Placement Generator. Just click on the preview window and it will be generated. Then press Save button. It is free pseudo-random displacement map generator, which is very simple in use. Set level detail to the highest value. Decrease height a little bit. Add Transform node for making scale adjustments. Let's decrease displacement height a little bit more. For the Octane camera, reset its coordinates and then place it in front of the sphere. I think index set to 2 will work well. Let's adjust sphere orientation for the best result. Also make some adjustments for the transform node. Now we need HDRI environment for our scene. Click on Sphere Object and add Octane Targeted Area Light. Let's place this light above the object. It should be quite large as it will be used as ambient light. We should reduce its power much. Second light gonna be our backlight. Its purpose is to highlight the edges of individual elements. 
The last one will be placed to the left of the sphere object. It also will work as highlight, but from other direction now. Not so powerful as previous. Let's decrease a little this one. For the Octane Sky, I use this colorful HDRI. I took it on this great guy's site, who shares his products for 3D work. Let's copy Octane Sky. This one we will use as a visible environment with a black color. Increase power for the primary environment and rotate it a little bit for making beautiful reflections. Let's reduce ambient light a little. For making elements glowing, let's make adjustments in post effects section. I wouldn't mind adding a little chromatic aberration also. For adding animation, we will need null object to be placed in the center of the sphere. It should be apparent to the camera. Let's place lights under the null also so they will rotate with the camera. Time to animate rotation of the null object. Add first keyframe and rotate null for the second one. Select two keyframes on the timeline and make them linear. In the Track Properties section set after to continue. This way the animation will continue after the second keyframe with the same speed. I also would like to add Depth of Field. Let's set the focus manually. 1000 samples for the render is more than enough. If you are interested in how I use this render for my needs, you can check my project here. The link you can find in the description to this video.